Hello, welcome back for another video. Uh, if you'll notice right here, if you've been following uh, this playlist, uh, I've been developing this chest, and you'll notice right away that since the last video, I did add a couple more um, straps or metal bands across the top, and I think it looks a lot better this way. I made it in the same style as the old one, so I just took this piece and then separated it out up to this point and then instead of using a piece in the middle I just moved them over and set them up that way so that it ended up like this and so today uh, we are gonna start the process of animating this chest I actually had to go I hadn't done this specific type of animation so I did make uh, test run over here uh, but we're gonna start from the beginning and the first step is that we need to join we have to get this all hooked up so that we can uh, actually have it move and not fall apart we gotta rig it so this base let's name this base here this base we can leave alone we don't need that that's fine this lid though Let's name it lid. We're going to have to set up. Uh, the plan is that this latch here, this little latch right here, is going to be able to move and then the entire lid will be able to flip up from the hinges. And so these, this whole lid is going to have to be not anchored. I'm going to leave it anchored for now while we set it up. Um, just because but we will have to unanchor it and if we don't weld all of these pieces together they're just gonna fall apart so let's go ahead I'm going to start uh, with these pieces here I'm gonna get them and then I've got a welding plugin by place rebuilder and I'm gonna hit that and you'll notice let's see one of these parts here there it is we have some weld objects and that's going to these are basically connecting this part to the other parts um, so that they won't fall so when they're not um, when we're they're not anchored they'll stay together so those are together and now we have to weld everything else in the lid except for those parts because we don't if our main lid and this latch are welded together then they can't move we're going to use a different joint for that so first step here we're going to just quickly already got that try and select all of these and this and the middle piece and then we're going to weld done okay that's good i'm going to name this frame so that's going to be that big wooden frame piece. And then this part here, I've set up this part. Um, basically, it's just a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be bigger, but I set it to some nice, easier increments than like 0.1 or something, which most people don't use. Um, but I set that up, and this is going to be the root part. Um, when you have an animation, there always has to be uh, one part that's anchored um, and so that's what this part is going to be and I'm also later going to use this part for um, click detection so when people click on the chest um, so will you name this root and I'm gonna put it into the lid so this is one model perfect uh, I don't need the base piece right now. This can stay. I'm actually, gonna move this this way. Just move it off. This can stay here and anchored. I don't need to do anything with that. But this lid I have to deal with. So this piece is anchored, but we don't want it. We don't want it to collide with anything. And now we're going to have to rig this. So we've got it all welded together so the pieces won't uh, fall apart. But those pieces need to be connected so that we can run it. 
So if you go to your plugins folder, actually sorry, wrong place, manage your plugins and find plugins here. Um, we need to get a special plugin that'll help us rig this. This will come. There we go. So you're going to need two plugins. You're going to need this animation editor by Roblox. And I'm also going to be using this character creator by Demister Nelson. And this one's going to be for animating later. Um, but this one here is what we're going to use today. So I already have these installed. You just go in and for here it would be install if you haven't installed it yet. But I already have it up here. So we're going to select this. And this is what we're going to rig today. So I have nothing here. I'm going to click bind and I need to select a base part. So I'm going to use this frame as my base part and then I click that left click and I need to select a second part and my second part is going to be this root part. So I've got that and if I hit edit you'll notice uh, this uh, sphere, this ball right here, this is the joints location. Um, and you'll see as we go through what they're for, that's basically the point that this is going to rotate around. But I need to, I'm going to hit finish, wait, edit, bind, I need to do one more. I need to get this piece and then I need to come in here carefully and get this little piece right there. Now let's edit. Cool. So we have one to here and this one's to the root part but they're not positioned right so I'm going to click one and you'll notice in the bottom here I've got some little uh, some tips here. Uh, K right now changes uh, for movement and rotation. I want it movement and my step which is the grid I want it to be on one tenth of a stud and then I can just move this over and it's not quite positioned right and I've got a fix for that uh, which I'm going to show you but let's get the side set up first I'm trying to I don't I know I have two hinges but I only need one actual joint that we're going to use to hinge around so that needs to go um, slightly further out just like 0 0.05 studs out and this one needs to go 0 0.05 studs out and 0 0.05 down so I'm going to go back and finish and we can close this so that's set up there and if we go into our frame, you'll notice we have two uh, joints called Motor 6D, and those are the joints that we're going to be using. And I'm going to go to the wiki here, and I'm going to look up Motor 6D. And I want to show you something here. So we go back. Properties here, these are some of the properties, but sometimes. Uh, like in this case, the joint also has a hidden uh, position property or C frame. And that is what we need to get a hold of. So if you look here, uh, I looked up, this is the Motor 6D, and we have a C frame position, these two. And this uh, C0, the C frame 0, determines how the offset point is attached to part 0. In that case, it's our frame, that would be this big wooden piece here. Uh, both of them I attached mainly to the frame and the other part was the part that we're attaching to. So in one case it's going to be the root part and in the other it's going to be this hinge piece. And I'm gonna go to my here and I have, I have a script already. I'm just gonna call this demo script. Uh, whoops, demo script, perfect. All right, so what I need is I need this, the, this information here, but I also need one thing. 
I'm going to control click on there and I'm going to show you this. Uh, nope. Selection. Uh, so this is going, this is what we're going to use in here to move these joints. So what I can do is I can select this joint and I can't see where it's positioned but I am selecting it. So what I can do, wait, I'm going to go back to my script here and we're going to go for I, V in pairs game dot selection. So what this is going to do is this is going to go to our, um, this is going to get game dot selection colon get. If I go here, this indicates that it'll return all the objects that are currently selected by the user. In this case, I have my motor 6D. Uh, that's going to go there. And this little part here is simply going to loop through all of those objects. So we're going to loop through and for each of them we're going to first I want to print some information. Um, so the first thing if we go back here I need to know where exactly these current positions are. The current C-frame I need to know. So I'm going to go back here and right now um, uh, v is just the name of, it's just a, the variable assigned to whatever we get. So we're going to go print v dot c0. I'm going to do that again, but we're going to do v dot c1. And if we take this right now, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to view and Right here, you can open up command bar and it should open this little bar at the bottom. And I'm going to paste in what I got. And what it allows me to do is to run some code right now without actually having to play Studio. So I'm going to hit enter. And right here, this is the code I have. And this is the information that it gave me. And I'm going to move this up so you can see. Uh, this last part, this is the rotation. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. What we need to worry about here, what we're concerned with here, is this. And these are the positions. And I know it looks a little confusing. Um, this is really, it's just 0 0.6. This is about 0.1.5. Um, Roblox just has, because of the way uh, numbers are stored, it can't be exactly 1.5. Unfortunately, it's, it's very, very close, but not quite. So we, we know what our positions are here for our two, um, for this joint. Actually, that's printing two. Let's see. That's interesting that it's printing two. Um, ah, yes, I know why. Uh, one's the offset from the one's the original part offset, and one is where it is. So let's let's go back here. So we know our, the positions for those two offsets, and now we're going to actually change them. So we're going to v dot c zero equals c frame dot new and the first thing we want is this one here these three numbers so we have 0 negative 0 0.6 and 1.5 cool then we can go v dot c1 equals c frame dot oops dot new and this one, this is a really long number, it looks kind of crazy. Basically, it's zero. Um, it's trying to, in, it's indicating a very, very small number um, using uh, exponents. 
but it's practically zero for us. So that's where we're going to set and 1.55. All right. So we got that. And these are offset for part zero and that. So we just need to change one of these. Um, let's see. I believe we just need to change top one actually. Uh, which one is this one? So this one is the frame. Oops. Uh, this one's going from the frame to the root part. So that just needs to be moved out a little bit more. And we're going to do 0.55. Copy this. Hit enter. So that should have moved it. And now if we go back to our plugins, we're going to select this one to edit. We're just going to edit it so we can see. And you can see now this is actually a little bit for it used to be uh, right here. And now it's been moved out, which is great. That's exactly where we want it. Um, so the next step is we're going to do this side. So we're going to finish that. We're going to select our other part, other motor, and we're going to go do the same thing, except I'm going to comment out these two. And if I do it in the script, it would look like this. And so uh, that's commented out. So all we're going to do is print on this one. And these are our positions. So now we have to go through and make sure these are uh, the same. So right here we have zero. Great, we've got zero. This one's negative 0.4. We're going to change it to that and negative 1.5. And we actually need it one for 0 0.05 out, so we're going to leave that at negative 1.55. And then this one is also 0, 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. There we go. Uh, that's a good idea to double check these. Zero, negative 0.4, negative 1.55. That's good. Uh, 5, 5, because I'm moving it out. Zero, 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Okay, cool. And then this one, we need to come down one of these. We need to come either down or up. So let's check that. Select, select that model. And this one needs to come out and down. So we're going to finish. Select that again because we need it. And we don't need that. And we're going to change this to negative 3, 5. Actually, that's going down. We actually have to change it to 4, 5 and make it go down even further. And then don't forget to uncomment. Sweet, let's try this. Bang. Select the lid. And perfecto. That is now positioned where we want it. And that one's positioned. Sweet. All right. So there you go. We've got our joints set up for our lid. Um, and in the next video, we're going to go about actually animating that. So don't forget, uh, you want to get your, this is the uh, array of information you'll need. Well, not that you'll need, but this is what you'll see when you have your animation editor installed. And when you install them, uh, you don't need a completely closed studio, but you may, you will need to close any places you're in. So if I was in this place 
and I installed my uh, the animation editor for example I would need to close this and reopen it in order for that plugin to show up here um, but it's it's fairly intuitive uh, the process for actually downloading it 